Tensions rose in the courtroom on the final day of trial. Being such a sensitive case, many were on edge and some even had outbursts. The arguments were meant to determine if Ian Cranston did in fact act in self-defense. The prosecution started off the final arguments of the Ian Cranston murder trial with the goal to persuade the juries Cranston's actions were not objectively reasonable, meaning the threat was not imminent and his response was not proportional to the situation. Attorney McLean argued Cranston's injuries did not qualify as serious physical injury. In Tyler Smith's mind, being a reasonable person, he thought this was a fist fight. I don't know what Ian was thinking. I can't believe this dude just got shot. He replayed Cranston's earlier testimony to prove his intent to kill. At this time, as Barry Washington is turning toward you at the end of his fist fight, do you fire your weapon? Yes, I do. Where were you? What, what, what part were you trying to fire? Where, where were you trying to fire? Center of mass. Are you aware that there's a real possibility that that may result in some death? I am. The defense responded saying it shouldn't take multiple blows to the head before he acted and that the state failed to prove Cranston did not act reasonably. McLean pointed out the defense's version of video evidence was missing some frames per second, which may not account for certain movements. He also said the highlighting feature in the defense's video evidence was misleading. Moments before Barry Washington is shot, again, we don't see where Tyler Smith is, we don't see where Allison Butler is. The prosecution rested its case saying that Cranston did not act out of self-defense, having waited 30 seconds and never making an attempt to do anything else to stop Washington. Don't confuse the defendant's regret with his intent. Attorney Sally began the defense's closing argument by asking the jury, why did Ian Cranston wait 30 seconds before firing a single shot? To which he answered, Because he thought, he hoped, that he would not have to fire. It was a shot that the law absolutely gave him the right to fire. Attorney Sally argued that Cranston feared for his life. A six foot two, powerful, muscular, 230 pound man, striking a smaller, weaker man in the face with all his force. Is it unreasonable to believe that that is something that can cause serious physical injury? In one rebuttal argument, Attorney Swart stated Cranston's body language showed he did not waver after the punch and said after Cranston shot Washington, he took a long drag from a cigarette he held in his hand during the entire incident, showing he wasn't in fear. As arguments came to a close, the prosecution stated that Cranston did not shoot in self-defense. The defense claimed the state could not prove that beyond a reasonable doubt. The jury is still deliberating. Barry Washington Jr.'s mother, along with many others, are awaiting a verdict. Bola Baribo, News Channel 21.